Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today is MRA Wednesday. Um, I'm using my mother's tablet, she's let me borrow a tablet because mine's foggy. I don't know why it's sort of milky. I can't figure it out. I've, I've cleaned the lens, nothing works. So I guess somehow some water got in. I don't know. But unfortunately, I've got to use my mother's tablet for reviews for a little while. Um, so today's is a 2004 Menu 14 Visual Manicotti, which I've had before. Um, I had the 2006 version, I think. Um, vegetarian meal, MRE from Warnick. Of course, more don't put dates on there stuff. So might be dates inside, so of course it's 2004, from what I was told. Um, would like to thank Apple Stump Bush Garden Things, my buddy, cheers, mate, I appreciate that. And uh, you will have some stuff coming from me <laughs> soon, I can, I promise you that. Um, but yeah, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to mail this to me with all your extra little goodies, which I have used and I'm still using. <laughs> that uh, USB charger um, plug thing coming very handy for my new um, joystick and a, a throttle control for my flight simulator. That was perfect. Excellent. <laughs> it's like you've read my mind. It's just what I needed for my computer. was an extra USB plug. Right. <laughs> and the earphones I use at night time um, to watch YouTube videos and stuff, so that's all good. But on the mirror, I, I use it as well. When I was in the hospital, same thing. You to have a shade and shit like that. Yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Um, so, um, today we will have uh, that 2004 MRE. Um, and today we have <clears throat> a little helper today. Maybe. <laughs> sort of. Uh, we have a little helper today. Um, prepare for this guys, uh, <laughs> just doing this for a bit of a laugh really because I find it extremely funny. <laughs> right, here we go then. Yeah, this is my uh, Gloopy doll. Um, <laughs> I just got it for a laugh on eBay because uh, it just makes me laugh. I look at those googly eyes, man. <laughs> <It> buckers. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? It just, it just, oh, just funny. Street funny. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I just sorry, to look at that. I thought that is going to make me laugh. Every time I do that, it makes me laugh. It's really funny. Right, anyway, but yeah, well, that's not well, that's not my sort of little helper, but um, you know. Just a bit of a laugh. <laughs> you want to get, I'll keep thinking it's going to stab me in my sleep. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> moving on. Um, I would like to thank um, Duncan uh, 512 underline food and drink. Uh, I'll put his uh, name down there. Uh, Duncan's a great guy. He does loads of reviews. So go, if you're not subscribed, please go and show him some love and subscribe. He sent me this bag of whiteners. We've got American whiteners. We've got English whiteners. The old American non-dairy cream and the new pack American non-dairy cream and loads of Vesti food whiteners, which I'm going to use. I will use all of these because, as you know, I go out to places and stuff. I have a, I take a hot water flask and I just make a cup of tea or coffee there on the spot, as you saw in Swanage, or down there on my holiday. But yeah, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Right. Okay then. And they will get used, I can assure you. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So, anyway, that's enough for the yakking. So, that's... I don't think I'll be doing this, because, of course, I have weak thumbs and wrists and stuff. It's very... Right. <coughs> no, can't do it. Right, I'll get a knife and cut that. Right. We'll use this blade. I have for my hobby thing here. So I want to preserve this. This is a... Not quite vintage, but it's old. You know, it's an old MRE from uh, Apple, some bushcraft stuff and things from his uh, uh, big freezer thing. I'm excited because I really can't wait to see. We'll, we'll do this uh, that way up, I think. And of course, nothing left in the bag. This bag will be preserved along with the others, the 2006 and all the other vintage MREs. I will keep them. Right, okay, we'll go from uh, the bottom up. So uh, here we have the cheese and vegetable manicotti and tomato sauce. I've had this once before from Warnick. Uh, it's uh, eight ounces. 
227 grams. Um, sodium back then was 900 milligrams. Carbohydrates 22 grams. Sugars 9 grams, fairly low. Protein 9 grams. Total fat 3 grams. Cholesterol 20 milligrams. That's not too bad. And of course you have that uh, card, all the excellent information which I like to read back then because this is like 2004 so it, you know it's, it sort of smells old you know that old sort of smell because it was a long time ago but this is good reading I like, I like reading this and got all the tips and stuff like there on the bottom right so there we go just move this out of the way right, put that there of course we have uh, an old FRH which is I think I think the oldest FRH I think I've ever had. Yeah, so they stopped doing it, didn't they? Back in the uh, 90s, they, they didn't do it back in the 90s, or what did they do it back in the 90s? I can't remember. I should know, but I've, I've, you know, I've forgotten. But uh, that, I think, is officially the oldest MRE FRH I think I've ever had. Crackers! Oh, brilliant. I freaking love crackers. They're awesome. I never get sick of because I've still got the cheese in my fridge. That MRE cheese from the other uh, review that you guys missed. Um, no, sorry, no. It was um, from the chicken burrito bowl cheese. There you go. Confirms it. 2004. The 302nd day of 2004. So, there you go. These are fairly old crackers, but you, you, you know these things will last a long, long time. Long, long time. And crackers are awesome. Especially if you have cheese or peanut butter or something like that. Right then, so we have um, something I've never seen before, potato sticks. Potato sticks? What the hell's potato sticks? I'm guessing they're probably pretzels, maybe. A rough guess. There's the date. 291st day of 2014. Excellent. Like the sound of that. Uh, sodium is 280 milligrams. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> right, okay, cool. That's uh, some nice snacks there. Nice snacky booze. Because this is one of the oldest, one of the oldest, not the oldest, because the, the oldest, I think, is the 90s one, I think. Um, but this is, uh, I think, the second oldest MRE spoon I now own. I've got the 2006 one as well, which I'm not going to open. <laughs> right, what's this then? What is this? What do we have here? It's um, very pliable. Seems very pliable. It's, uh, of course, peanut butter. I love peanut butter. It's awesome. And the date is uh, stamped on the side somewhere. Yeah, we have peanut butter. Awesome. That's going to go well with crackers. Give that a good kneading. It's uh, not, not been around. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, what's this? This is the accessory pack, and the date on this is 313th day of 2014. That's iced tea drink mix with lemon. Oh, that's going to be nice. Excellent. Okay, so there's a bottle of Tabasco, which makes it one of the oldest ones. Uh, I have uh, them all on, on my shelf in my bedroom, so I can preserve them. Um, you know, I, I don't like Tabasco, you know that. But uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. Put that on the FRH, we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, okay then, uh, we have peanuts, dry, roasted and salted. I have these on um, the MRE that you guys missed. I have the British version of these. The sodium on that is 1100 milligrams. Okie dokie. Vacuum packed, obviously. Great. Right, last but least is... Sterling Foods, I think. I oh, don't know, almond poppy seed pound cake. Wow, I've never had an almond seed, but I've had the poppy seed lemon pound cake. That was real nice. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Almond poppy seed pound cake. Wow. Well, let's, let's see if it survived. Let's hope it survived. So that's the contents um, of the 2004 MRE. So let's have a look at the accessory pack. I don't really want to own this. <laughs> I would uh, sort of like to preserve it, but... Uh, you know, let's, let's just have a nose anyway. Let's just have a nose, see what's in it. <coughs> That's really tough. That is really tough. <sighs> no, can't get open. 
Where's that blade? There it is. I'll cut the sucker from the back. There we go. Blade. Never much it out. Always have one in your accessory kit because they do really come in handy. Right then, okay then, so let's get this stuff out. Let's see what we have in this uh, accessory bag, which I'll stick over there. Okay, we have uh, your usual MRE matches, uh, one of the oldest ones, of course. I have a pack from the 90s, which I uh, am treasuring. Uh, I can't see it from BD and Speedy Bean and Sons. I can't see anything on the bottom there. Not sure. There's something, something on the there, but I can't, I can't make it out. It's just too small. My eye at the moment, I just I can't, you know, make that out wherever it is. Uh, I got, and I saw I have an actual bag full of these things now of uh, various years. What the hell am I going to do with them all? I never know. But of course, you need it just in case the FRH goes US. It's just um, handy to have that. And of course, we have the moist towelettes. I think it's the right way, isn't it? Yep, moist towelette from National Towelettes. Co. Um, cinnamon, New Jersey. Oh, I never heard of that. Cinnamon, New Jersey. I thought cinnamon was a food. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they had a, a town called cinnamon or a state called cinnamon or whatever. New Jersey. Mm, cool. Well, that's uh, very old. Last time that's all daylight. Right, of course you have the um, iced tea drink mix. I know you guys over there have sugar in your iced tea, and um, I'm guessing 15 grams of sugar. I'd probably say that's going to be our pass. Uh, serving size 16 grams, container 1, calories 60, sodium is 0. Excellent. Carbohydrates, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, well, I'll tell you what I'll, um, well, I'll, tell you what I'll do. I'll make it up. It's got vitamin C in it. I'll make it up, but I won't. I'll have a sip, then I'll just have to throw it away. <laughs> There's no harm in having a sip of that, you know, but unfortunately I'm going to have to just chuck it in the, in the, in the doodle. But we'll make that up anyway, it was, it was, it was a cold drink, but uh, there we go. So, there we go. Bulk standard MRE gum. Had this many times, and uh, it looks per perfectly edible to me. So that's a plus. Tabasco sauce. Well, that's one of the oldest ones I own. So this is uh, it's in quite good condition, but I think... No, it isn't. I was wrong. It's dried up. Look, that's upside down. It's totally dried up in there. Wow. That I have never seen before. My gosh. Look at that. It's completely gone. There's nothing in there. It's just like a powder. Or whatever the hell that is in the bottom. Well, that's going to be the, uh, you know, um, definitely going on my shelf in my bedroom without a <laughs> shadow of a doubt. Uh, of course, we've got the old um, wrinkle. We've got, notice it's got the, um, the crinkly uh, bits on the end. Never seen that before. Never seen that. They're now straight, aren't they? Of course, the uh, TP Lighthouse toilet paper. Right, okay then. So, we have a nice selection of stuff today. And uh, thanks to my buddy, um, Apple Stunt Bushcraft Stuff and Things. Of course, I uh, really appreciate that guy. <laughs> I was hoping to see some Lucky Charms in there, but there's no Lucky Charms in there. So, you know, never mind. <laughs> you know, I was hoping to see some Lucky Charms in there, but obviously there isn't. But uh, never mind. No big deal. I was going to use them for my um, World War II k Russian um, thing. But, um, you know, it doesn't matter. Right, okay, then, so we'll get this out onto a tray and uh, we'll get things going. Right, there we go, all laid out on the tray. I've been taking pictures with my camera because um, I want to have, you know, preserve and document this with my uh, MRE collection. Right, okay, so uh, first things first, we'll get the FRH um, going, if it, if it goes, obviously. So let's take this out of the box. If I can get my nails up to not got under there. Uh -huh. right, so there we go. Let's get the main milk Put that with the FRX and we'll keep the box. Um, we could put it back in the box, actually, couldn't we? But we'll if the FRX kicks off on it. If not, and I'll not bother, but uh, 
I'll try and get it back in the box. Um, I won't bore you with the details of um, doing this because it takes five minutes, and that's another five minutes of film gone. River Mead, New York. Hmm, never seen that before. True Tech Incorporated, River Mead, New York. Hmm. Excellent. Never seen that. Right, this is 2004. So this is another one of the old ones. So <laughs> I'll be interested to see if this kicks off. Hopefully it will. There we go. Rip that. Right, so I'll just do this off camera. Oh, wobble. I'll do this off camera and then we'll be back. Okay, it's in. Give us a shake. Turn it over onto its back. Oh, we'll go underneath. Seems to be heating up. So let's put this in the box. If it will go in the box, out. Come on, squeeze it. Right, there we go. Right, so we'll put that back in the box and leave it resting up against that. So, we'll come back to that. Right, okay, then peanuts. A little bit of wet. <laughs> peanuts. Time is 12.58, so we'll come back in 12 minutes. Oh, <laughs> didn't hear a hiss, did you? I didn't hear one. Right, there we go. Peanuts from 2004. Yeah, smell good. They smell uh, okay to me. Let's put a few there. Let's put a few there. Nice uh, starter, snack. Right, excuse me. Um, pound cake. We get these, uh, which I think are pretzels. I think, I think they're pretzels. Potato sticks. No, I thought we'll cut the. I want to preserve this bag as well because I've, I've never seen this one before. Uh, we'll cut the. We'll cut it from the back. Cut it from the back. Right, one o'clock, dinner time. Here in the UK, what well, is for me? Oh, I didn't cut it. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Cut it from the back. Look at that. Potato sticks. I have not seen them. Since the 90s, we had these with um, salt and vinegar, like fish and sort of fish and chips sort of taste. God, I remember them. Wow. They smell um, okay, I guess. Um, actually, we'll just change trays and put a pound cake over there. Move that into there. Dunk a few in here. Yeah, that's more all right, I guess. Be a nice, uh, a nice starter. So let's have a few of these. See what they taste like. Yeah, old. Mm. They've sort of adopted um, a packing smell. They just smell odd, you know. Sort of um, gone off, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've gone off, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you can smell it. Right, okay then. Pound cake. I've not had this one before. I'll show you no coffee with this. I'd love to have a, um, a taste of choice coffee with that. That'd have been awesome. That would have been awesome. Right. We'll dump this out onto the tray, I think it's going to crumble. There we go. Yeah, it smells good. In the pack there. Don't want that. Let's have a look. A oh, little bit crumbly, but there you go. Poppy seeds. Pound cake. Yummy. You know that's going to be good. Just needed a hot drink to go with it. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Right, okay then. Um... Right, so, uh, um, hang on, concentration, 
We'll um, use the uh, TP. Get the TP out. Let's get the TP out. Use a section of this for that tray. Wipe this crap up. There we go. 2004 TP. <laughs> so we only need one of those. There we go. We'll put that back in a minute. Deal with that in a minute. Let's just wipe this stuff up. This crap's gone everywhere. Yeah, those um, potato sticks. What um, you know, they they taste off. Well, sort of. You know, got a weird taste. Like, you know, been in the pack too long. Yeah, you know, sort of a peculiar smell. You know, that's all I can sort of describe it as a peculiar smell. Right, um, peanut butter. Um, I've actually got a pack of peanut butter already open from the uh, other MRE, which you guys missed, um, with the oat biscuits. I'm going to keep this as a backup. I've got one of these, just like this one, in the fridge. So I'll get that one out, and we'll use these crackers for the peanut butter. If I can get it open. Let's try the other one. I'm going to try for a hiss. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. Nice uh, hiss there. Are they intact or are they broken and shredded? <laughs> there you go. No, they're intact. Wow, look at that. Two MRE crackers. Friggin' love it. It's such a shame. Yeah, smells okay to me. Such a shame that you have to sort of open them because, you know, they're, they're just awesome. I'll, I'll definitely eat this one, and I'll keep the other one for later, and I'll put the cheese on it. So I will. <laughs> right, I'll put the peanut butter underneath my arm, uh, just be in the fridge. So I'll make this um, iced tea up. I know how you guys have iced tea, because I've had friends from America back in 2012 on Zello, and she told me exactly how to make iced tea. I said, no, I can't do it because the amount of sugar that's in it. <laughs> Said uh, that would, is not good, not good for me. So, uh, oh, I dropped it. Right, so there we go, iced tea, let's have a smell. Yeah, smells okay, I guess, and this powder's probably not seen daylight since 2004. So we'll just bang that all in there. Put that over there. Ah. I will use my MOE spoon to mix this up. Okay, so we'll set that over there, and we'll come back to that. Right, okay, peanut butter time. Uh, this is one that's been in the fridge, not had any yet. Mmm, yeah, yummy. Oh, awesome, army peanut butter, awesome. Right, okie doke. Blop. Blop. Oh, no, this is not going to work. It never does. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a disaster of peanut butter, isn't it? Bit of a disaster. Close. <laughs> Close, that's all I'll say. It's not quite there yet. Um, but, uh, you know, peanut butter's good all year. It keeps for a long, long time. Keep it in the fridge. Keep it cold. And just fold it over. It's all good. Mmm, mm. right, okay then, because I will use that up, we get English crackers here, right, okay, use the MRE spoon, for peanuts, oh, 2004, go okay, very well with that peanut butter I just had in my mouth, very, very good combo, mmm, yeah, Perfect. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mmm. Yeah, you can't go wrong with peanuts, really. 
I do keep for a long, long time before I go off. I mean, they're good for ages, you know. In fact, vac vacuum packs, you know, they just keep for a long, long time. Right, okay, I'm going to have one, one of these because I think they've gone off. Yeah, yeah, they're not nice. Shame. I'll keep the packet. I'll just take everything out of there, I'll put it into the bin. Yeah. No, I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> no, unfortunately the potato sticks didn't last, I'm afraid they didn't make it. Such a shame. But uh, unfortunately they've uh, had their day. Come past the sell by day. Mmm. Well, it's been for a bit, <coughs> a bit salty, sodium wise. But, um, still nice though. You can never go wrong with that. Never. Mmm. No, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Just keep for a long, long time. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Okie dokie. <sighs> Yummy. Right, let's have, uh, try some of this. 2004 iced tea. Mm, hint of lemon there. Yeah, pretty good. Surprising. That's you made it. Yeah, got a nice tang. Nice tang of lemon there. That's you made it. Wow. That's all I can have of that. I think there's a few more sips. I think we're done. <clears throat> I have to go straight down the sink. Gutted. Right, okay. Um, Makes me laugh, our dog, every time. <laughs> really does make me laugh. So funny. It's so, so spooky, doesn't it? It's scary. I want you to have it in the same bedroom with me because I think it's going to stab me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's funny. How can a little dog make you laugh that much? It's crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, it does. Funny. Very funny. Mmm. Iced tea, pretty good. Surprised. Much better than the other iced tea I had. From whatever year that was. Right, dinner's ready. It's dinner time. Let's get this out and get eating. It's uh, quite hot, so it's FRH of 2004. Did its job, it did not need any salt. Which is all good. Now comes a tricky bit. if you had, um, actually while that's doing, I'll put that on top of the pound cake and that will keep the pound cake warm and I forgot to put it with a pound cake, uh, of course. All right, so let's give it a quick wipe down. I hope that's the wrong one. Um, okay, right, it's a uh, tot opener. Now this is the 300th day of 2014, this meal was packed. Of course the MRE spoon goes all the way down to the bottom. Which is what it was designed for, excellent. And they stopped doing this, I forget what year they stopped doing the top packs. <coughs> they went to the side packs, which I'm glad they did because these are really hard. <laughs> and I was struggling with this. Right, I cracked it, so let's rip it. <laughs> oh gosh, that's <laughs> tough. Okay, I'll cut the top off for the 
sharp knife. So let's get this out then. Manicotti, which I had before. But this is probably the other version of it. There it is. It was that the uh, slice that I remember seeing. Not so long ago. I did that 2008 MRE. Right, okay. To close look at the Manicotti. Very nice that is, I tell you. I had it last time. Should have made it from 2004. Right, there we go. So, here we go. It has a nice tomato sauce. Let's break into that pasta. Of course, using our eyes and using our smell, we will assess the uh, food before we eat it. Very gloomy today, by the way. The sun's not out. That yeah, smells perfectly fine to me. Smells fine to me, tastes okay, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I had this last time with the 2008, so it doesn't drop off. <laughs> there we go. Vegetable Malacotti from 2004. Yeah, I dropped it. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> all over my trousers, damn. Of course, Americans call them pants, and we call underpants, pants. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's quite nice, the uh, tomato sauce is very rich. Pasta's very really soft, and whatever filling that is. It's nice. I was going to say beef, but it isn't, it's a vegetable, isn't it? Vegetarian. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, it's uh, not bad. And thank you to Mr. Apple, some bushcraft stuff and things, for our deep freezing this. Um, of course, it's been out uh, for a while now. But, I don't know. It's nice, it's own unique taste, can't taste anything majorly unpleasant, just really nice vegetable malacotti. I have a few peanuts with this as well, some peanuts, a bit of crunch. Mm. Of course you could have put the um, potato sticks in with this, cut that down the middle, open it up, Put the peanuts and all that. Whether they go with that, I don't know. But if you want a little bit of texture, you can get a big old handful of that, and bang them in there, and then just mash it all up. Uh, had they had, have survived, I probably would have done that. But unfortunately, they didn't make it. <laughs> Damn shame, really. Of course, you know, there's, there's no sun today, just cloudy, overcast, grey. So I'm lacking in light yet again. Such a shame. But uh, this manicotti is nice. Second time I've had it. Very, very nice. Yeah. Well, I must admit that tomato sauce is very rich. Very, very rich. Yeah. Could have lined it up a bit, I think. Could have lined that up. But, um, you know, it's nice. This will probably be the last 2000s, early 2000s pack I'll probably ever have. Because um, after this I've got the vintage MRA to do. I've, I've actually misplaced it in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm still trying to find it. Uh, so next week will be the vintage MRE. And I think that will be the last MRE I do for a long time. Because um, I bought a um, pack that Mr. Blogger knows about. Um, or feedback. It's a single meal, so we'll go back to doing single meal reviews in about two weeks. This is the last MRE, other than the uh, vintage, whatever year that comes from, 80s or whatever it is, 90s, I don't know, until we get it open. But yeah, that's, that's very nice. Yeah, pretty surprise. Right, okay then, let's uh, finish that up and I'll be back. Well, there we go. 
Um, that was alright, yeah. I think it nearly, nearly took the sell by date, I think. I think it was nearly getting that. But, um, it was alright. Yeah, whether I get any repercussions, repercussions, I don't know, to wait a couple of days. Um, about 34 minutes, I think. Um, sorry guys, it's gone on for too long now. I'll take that off. Um, I'm much on the, uh, I'll just clean that up. I will keep the, um, FRH as well. I'll take the heater bit out of it. I'll keep it, wash it out and preserve it as well. Right, I'll just ruin the peanut buddy, or what was my attempt at peanut buddy. Because I'm looking forward to having this uh, with, um, excuse me, um, with uh, cheese on the other one later on. Because it was, oh, I'll tell you, I wish you guys would send me some MRE crackers, seriously. Because with, with that cheese, they go really well together. You know, there's nothing like this in England that I could possibly even come close to than an MRE cracker. You know, I would buy an MRE just to have some crackers. That's how how much I like them. Right, okay, it's um, MRE peanut butter with MRE crackers. Yeah. Yeah. You're on to a winner every time, that one. On to a winner every single time. Got that now, that nice, um, that nice MRE flowery taste. I like that. Mmm. <laughs> that says it all. Mmm. Mmm. My gosh, that's awesome. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Nice little dessert. But we'll have to leave that there. I'll uh, finish it up later on. Right, I have a pound cake now. Let's just break this in half. It's probably going to disintegrate, maybe. Do it carefully. Put that over there. We'll just take a couple of bites out of this. There you go, we have um, almond seed poppy pound cake. Mm. Did it make it? Hell yes, it did. It made it. But it's very crumbly. Very, very crumbly. Yeah, look at that. You want to win it with pound cakes, they are so awesome. And I really, really, really miss doing them. I can tell you that much. I really do. They are that awesome. And crackers, Emery, I love Emery crackers. Right, okay. Big thumbs up. I want to win it with that one. So I'm going to have to ruin the taste of the gum, really, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just cut these uh, open. There we go. Take one out. Finish the gum. Had this uh, last week. Very nice. Nice sort of uh, cool mint, spearmint, or whatever the hell mint that is. Very nice. But really did need a coffee. A taste of choice coffee would have been brilliant with that pound cake. That would have been a perfect combo. It took about four minutes to get that to come together. And it's lost some of its minty taste. When you have these the last gum last week, you get that kick of, of mint, a like cool mint. But there was no kick. You know, it's, it's sort of lost its minty thing. But it's all right, you know. It's, it's, there is mint there, but it's not that strong. It's very sort of weak. Right, so let's wrap this up. So, Visual Manicotti, excellent. 10 out of 10 for that. Peanut butter and crackers. Emery crackers, fantastic as usual. Poppy, uh, almond poppy seed pound cake, fantastic. Hell no to the potato chips or uh, whatever they are. They've gone off, definitely. Uh, I'll keep the pack, but the manicotti was, f it was all right. You know, I'd probably rate about eight out of 10 for the main meal. It wasn't, you know, that good. It is all right, you know, you, you can eat it. But that, those two, were the best out of the whole thing, really. It was, it was all right, you know. So, um, the um, spice iced tea, iced tea, um, it was all right. It was a nice, nice sort of lemon smell. It was all right, you yeah. know. can drink it. So, and the gun almost passed its sell-by date. Sell -by date. <laughs> 
but um, that is alright. It is a nice meal. And thanks to Michael Stubb, Bush Club stuff and things. I appreciate it, both. Thank you very much for taking the time to mail that to me. It was, it was very nice. You know, it, it survived in your freezer. So, I just have one last word for my little friend. And um, I'll say goodbye. And we'll come back next week with a vintage MRE. Right, okay guys, thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Hope the dog didn't scare you too much because uh, I find that hilarious. Yeah, it's, um, I wish I could invent a little character for it. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Right, uh, we're up to 40 minutes, I think. 39 minutes now, so I've been gone way too long. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate that. See if I have some prescribed stuff and things. Your name will be down there at the top, matey. I'm with a blogger and, you know, all the other guys. Just check your names, they'll be down there. I'll, I'll put them down as usual. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Um, I'm back on Saturday with a American snack review, but I'll see you on Wednesday for the vintage MRE, which I'm quite excited about. But that was all right. You know, one thumb up for that. It was all right. These two, bang on, perfect. Bye for now, guys. See you next week.